Hey everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to LT Gaming. Today we're diving deep into the Star Wars universe with a focus on something that adds a whole new layer of excitement to one of our favourite games, Star Wars Empire at War. Get ready for an awesome ride as we explore the incredible mods crafted by some seriously dedicated fans. These mods take the classic strategy game to a whole new level, giving us fresh perspectives on epic space battles and intense ground skirmishes. So join me as we navigate through the galaxy of mods uncovering the creativity and passion that the modding community brings to keep the Star Wars gaming experience alive and thriving. Stay tuned and let's jump in to the adventure together. As always with these lists, I can only include so many games and we're going to do a top six. So there are some really good mods for Mass Effect and Stargate, which I may include in a part two. People tend to latch on to the mods that I don't include on these lists, like on the Hearts of Iron video someone said, look you should have had the My Little Pony mod on the list, and my answer to that was, I'm a grown man, but look, hey actually it does look quite a good mod, I'll, I'll give them that. So just remember with the top 6, it's not the 6 best, it's just the 6 that I've played and want to recommend to you at this moment. If you're as pumped as I am about exploring the Star Wars Empire at War mods, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. By subscribing, you won't miss out on any of the upcoming mod showcases, gaming insights and all things LT Gaming related. First up, we have so many Star Trek fans on the channel that I just had to include this mod, and it's called Star Trek Alliance. Starship, this is a complete conversion mod that basically swaps out Star Wars stuff for Star Trek stuff. Although the quality of this mod isn't quite as high as some of the dedicated Star Wars ones, it does introduce a really great Star Trek flavour overall. You get to command iconic factions like the Federation, Klingons, Romulans, Gorn, Hydran, ISC, Liren and Mirek, with the Pirates of Orion thrown into the mix as formidable enemies. The gameplay spans from the TOS to TMP eras, capturing the essence of Star Trek history. But that's not all, with recent updates you can now immerse yourself in the TNG era with the introduction of new factions like the Dominion, Cardassian and Borg. It's a whole new galactic playground with endless possibilities and challenges, so boldly go where no one has gone before and reshape the Star Wars universe into a Star Trek saga. Next up we're going to explore the Republic at War mod, a total conversion that shakes up the game's dynamic. In this mod, bid farewell to the Empire and Rebel Alliance as the Galactic Republic takes the spotlight, facing off against the Confederacy. Inspired heavily by the theatrical films and featuring content from the Clone Wars cartoon series and expanded universe, Republic at War immerses players in the iconic conflicts of Star Wars. This mod offers a chance to relive various Clone War campaigns, including the intense Outer Rim sieges. As a player, you get to choose your side fight for the Galactic Republic or join the ranks of the Confederacy. The focus here is on realism, granting players unprecedented control over their strategies and battle locations. Whether you're commanding an entire clone legion or overwhelming your opponent with a seemingly endless array of B1 battle droids, Republic at War gives you the reins. Plus, keep an eye out for planned expansions that promise to introduce new and polished content to this already immersive Star Wars experience. It's time to reshape the galaxy and the choice is yours. Coming up next, we're going to shine a spotlight on the impressive Awakening of the Rebellion mod. It's a comprehensive mod that amps up various aspects of the game, from graphics to performance, and notably greatly improves the ground combat. It also swaps out the Zan Consortium for the Black Sun Pirates among the three playable factions and introduces three non-playable factions, the Hut Cartel, Hapes Consortium and Corporate Sector Authority. Adding extra depth, the mod brings in new units and heroes for all factions, elevating the experience for both Rebellion and Empire players. But what sets it apart is the stellar enhancement to ground combat, addressing a weak point in the original game. There are a number of story-driven campaigns immersing you in Star Wars lore. Difficulty varies, providing a smooth entry point or a challenge for seasoned players. Awakening of the Rebellion truly stands out as one of the top mods, offering a rich and diverse experience in the Star Wars universe. Next up, we're going to dive into the epic Clone Wars saga with the Fall of the Republic mod, often hailed as the best Clone Wars mod out there. Interestingly, it comes from the same talented mod team behind Thrawn's Revenge, sharing some similarities in design philosophy. However, Fall of the Republic has its own unique flavour, setting the stage during the tumultuous Clone Wars era. 
players get to choose between the Galactic Republic and the Separatists, adding a dynamic layer to the gameplay. Just like in Thrawn's Revenge, more on that later, the mod brings in significant changes replacing the tech system with an era-based approach and giving the weapon combat system a thorough overhaul. What sets Fall of the Republic apart is its deep dive into the Clone Wars narrative. Galactic Conquest campaigns offer a plethora of story-driven content, allowing you to immerse yourself in the battles and lore of this iconic Star Wars period. If you're eager to experience the grandeur of the Clone Wars, Fall of the Republic should be at the top of your modding list. If we're going to talk about mods for Empire at War, we really have to discuss the remake mod. It's exactly what it sounds like, a remake of the original game. And what exactly was the main goal? Basically, to catapult the game out of the early 2000s era of RTS games, giving it a modern facelift. This mod shines in its improvements to graphics and sound quality, offering a significant upgrade that puts it among the best mods for Star Wars Empire at War. This mod maintains the three playable factions from the base game, but with a twist. The criminal underworld faction replaces the Zang Consortium. There's a focus on refining both space and ground combat, making the overall gameplay smoother and less clunky. What sets it apart is the introduction of the Sector Systems mechanic in Galactic Conquest. These sectors comprised of planet collections serve as vital control points, bringing economic and production benefits to the controlling faction. The campaigns revolve around controlling these systems, injecting new life into the Galactic Conquest game mode. If you're yearning for an enhanced base game experience with a visual and auditory overhaul, Empire at War Remake is the mod you've been searching for. Do you like what I did there? Uh, okay, yeah, I was proud of that one, but hey. And if you didn't get the reference, you're just not a Star Wars fan. And finally, to round out the list, we're going to jump into the post-Empire chaos that is the Thrones Revenge mod. Set after Emperor Palpatine's demise, you know, the first time, this mod throws you into the power struggle left behind. With a whopping nine playable factions, you get to shape the destiny of the galaxy in the absence of the Empire. For me, as someone obsessed with the Expanded Universe novels as the true sequel to the original trilogy, this mod is an absolute dream. Thrawn's Revenge isn't just about the extra added gameplay elements, but it's a journey into the Expanded Universe and Star Wars Legends. The mod introduces rich story-driven content that unravels the tales of the Empire's downfall. Alongside, you'll discover a trove of new units, heroes and planets, making Thrawn's Revenge a top pick among the Empire at War mods. And it doesn't stop there. The mod revamps gameplay mechanics bidding farewell to the old tech system and embracing a dynamic era system. This system influences available units and heroes according to the timeline, offering a unique Star Wars Expanded Universe experience. The combat system also gets an overhaul for better balance and just feels far more immersive overall. Thrawn's Revenge isn't just a mod, it's a reimagined journey through the Star Wars galaxy. These changes not only expand the game but enhance the overall experience, making it a must try for any Empire at War fan. In conclusion, these Star Wars Empire at War mods have breathed new life into the classic game, offering diverse experiences that cater to every Star Wars fantasy. From the strategic depth of Thrawn's Revenge to the immersive storytelling of Fall of the Republic, each mod brings its own unique flavour to the galaxy. Whether you're reliving the Clone Wars in Republic at War, reshaping history with the Star Trek Alliance mod, or enjoying a complete overhaul with Empire at War Remake, the modding community has truly enriched the gaming landscape. So whether you seek enhanced graphics, fresh narratives, or a total conversion into the Star Trek universe, there's a mod out there waiting for you. Embrace the force of modding and may your galactic adventures be as limitless as the mods themselves. Also, don't forget there are other great mods out there from Mass Effect, Stargate, Rise of the Mandalorians, Age of Legends, it goes on and on. We can definitely make this a part two. I've been Luke from LT Gaming. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that great stuff and I'll catch you on the next one.